good morning guys welcome to today's video i had a couple things that i wanted to show you really quick so you guys know i have a new grandbaby and i have this thing that i want to do this fall i want to get a few sweaters like this baby sweaters actually it looks huge but anyways then you crochet kind of like i forget what it's called but you crochet like their name across here this one i'm going to put a pumpkin on for for halloween but you can like crochet flowers on them so I want to make one with Lily's name I also want to make one with pumpkins so I want to do that I'm super excited about it I'll put a picture here what I mean but it's super fun that's like totally up my alley something that I love to do but also I want to update you on our baby chicks that we have in the house um first of all <laughs> yep that's where the cat stays so uh, this is a first for us one of our baby chicks uh-oh <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> this one here was born with angel syndrome. With This one was born with angel wing. Look at it, I already fixed that one. So anyway, it's just that its wing is at a different angle. It's stuck out like a, wing is stuck out at a different angle. It's kind of twisted. So to fix it, I put vet wrap around it and then secured it. And then when we did that, it's probably a boy because boys get angel wing syndrome the most. He freaked out and was so upset and literally was screaming and then only for a second. So he must have just ripped this right off. So we're going to have to do it again. One wing already looks like it twisted back and it, whoops. Oh no, they're both there. You guys see? Burrito, anyone? All right, so here he is and he's not happy. I don't think this is going to stick either. Uh oh. She loves them. I let her see them. Do you love him? Maybe she's kind of the kind of kitten that would like love a baby and take care of it i don't think so maybe you could be their mother that my friends is the sound of an unhappy chicken he needs to figure out how to walk in it so uh-oh oh that's not gonna work yeah i don't think that's gonna work that's gonna kill him all right i'll figure out something out take it else take it off while i right while i figure out a better way to do it well come on man Poor little boy. What's interesting about that is we've never had that before and it can be like a genetic thing, but what's interesting, I was gonna say that we took the eggs that we hatched out of the fridge so they were cold for a while before we hatched it, so maybe it's because of that, but that chicken is not from that batch. Angel wing can be caused by genetics. We've never had that before. And, or diet, which, I mean, it was born like that, so it must mean the diet of the mom. So it says that if the diet is too high in protein, that they can be born with that. So maybe we should stop feeding our chickens extra food. I brought Ellie out with me. I feel like ever since we got the puppy, I haven't been able to spend as much time with her. Ellie and the puppy are like this. So if I take Ellie outside, that puppy's always with me. And I can trust Ellie to do what I need her to do when I'm busy doing stuff. So, and I can't really trust the puppy yet. She's still young. She just turned four months old. She's two days away from being four months old. Like she's still a really young puppy. So today I just said like, forget it, you puppy, you stay inside. I want to bring my Ellie out and spend some time with her. I feel worn out, tired and alone. Every minute passes into the unknown You bring me comfort like nobody can I hear you whisper, life has only just begun So I hold out It's been a week and I still haven't cleaned up from the party I really want to have another fire before we close it up for the season. My sister left her cooler here and she said, oh, I'll pick it up later. It will give me an excuse to come by. Yeah, she didn't come by. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I just was coming into the barn. I was just coming into the barn and this is what I saw. Ducks who are taking over the barn. So I am just about ready to start making soap. There are all different ways you can make soap. Goat's milk soap. Um, I don't want to use lye, which is a little bit more complicated, but also because I want to make 
my goat's milk soap super gentle so I have some stuff that I have back here in the barn in like this storage area that I can use to make my goat's milk soap and I can't find it but I did find something really cool it's this little jar the girls and I used to save all of our change we used to throw all of our change in this jar and I have tons of it so there's like tons of money in this bucket right not tons but lots plus all my knitting needles I wondered where they were so I'm definitely taking that in I found a ton more egg cartons which I need because I literally just used the last one today so they're coming in with me look you want to see what I found yeah I found a chicken container but this used to be ours kids don't use change anymore no one uses change, but I also found the stuff I needed for soap. Helping dad fill up the duck pool, so grab a bucket and let's go do that. I can't find my molds for the soap, but I think it'll work out because I have other things that I can use as a mold instead that I'm super excited about. I swear the puppy taught Ellie, reminded Ellie, that she likes to chase chickens because she hasn't done it for a while. Come on, Elf! So I hold Come on! Stronger than forever when it's you and me together. Cause I never lost my faith in you. Even the turkeys will go in that pool. Look, yeah, all right. Look at how big my turkeys are. Like, honestly, they're so huge. He doesn't like me anymore. Hey, Kirby. Oh, they just ran. The dogs just came running right through here. You're steam. He doesn't like you anymore? Well, he's a man now. Apparently when turkeys become men, everything changes. He's still sweet to me. How are my ducks gonna lay eggs? Ducks don't usually lay eggs until like February. So Sam is building in the outside the run here, like this little thing here, because, excuse me, I'm trying to talk. She's like, I don't care. It's because Gabby's here. Gabby, they're afraid of you. They're saying, stranger, stranger, stranger. Well, Even the turkey that, thinks you're a stranger. Stick. Even the turkey's scared of you guys. So anyways, to back to what I was saying. Sam's gonna, we're separating the chickens for winter. <laughs> Don't peck me. Don't peck me. It hurts. He wants to build it in so that we have two outdoor runs in the winter. Chickens will go out the side. The turkeys will go out here and i don't know what we're going to do with the ducks but so that's a that's a fall project that he's working on every time when i felt you would pull me through yes i never lost look at how big kirby got <laughs> ellie won the stick I was saying to my friend yesterday that it's like hard to love an animal because when they die then you're so sad but what's even harder is when an animal loves you because then you're always worried about disappointing them you're always worried about not being there not being enough for what they need like every time I walk away from Posey I was saying yesterday it just breaks my heart because I just want to be with her all the time and she wants to be with me Speaking of the pig, where is the pig? At the over there. Oh, I wonder if she can hear me the problem with turkeys is that they bite your hair. <laughs> There's always something. That's She's right really up. sweet though. I'm not You're really so cute. You're really so cute. It literally cracks me up that some animals notice if somebody's new or a stranger to them and then they alert everybody. Like these guineas, 
scream whenever a stranger comes near. Hi, Gabby, you have the rest. It's only fair. And then the turkey puffs up. What good is puffing up to us? You have to scream so we know that there's danger. Our male turkey will do the same thing. He'll sit with me and come sit in my lap or sit beside me and let me pet him. Sophie says, it's, Sophie says it's about the energy. I feel like I'm more relaxed than I ever have been before. So maybe that's why. Anyway, I wanna go before we have, before I have lunch, I wanna go in and make sure, I just wanna go check the goat. How do you? Huddled together by the fence. Oh, they're, so she's still in heat? Yeah. I heard the boy screeching this morning. Oh, I see. They all want to be together. So my idea for this money bucket is that I have like a ton of I have a ton of change that I'm never going to use and it's just clogging up my wallet making my purse heavy so I'm going to dump it in there. You guys, our chickens can tell time. You see them out there? They know I'm about to walk out this door. Look, and the ducks are there, they're all coming. I just happened to look out the door and they're all standing there stalking us. I can't believe it's already seven o'clock. Hi, baby. Here they come, release the, release the beasts. And they all just come running. <laughs> it's so funny. It never gets old, you guys. And then that little silky. <laughs> Yeah, I think that our chickens are a little bit spoiled and I need to stop doing that because what if it's all this extra protein that they're getting that made our little angel wing baby? That's your last meal, you guys. That's his name, Angel. Yeah, your last meal, sorry, has to happen. Angel wing can be caused by genetics, but also by too much protein in the diet and I often give them like leftover meat because protein is supposed to be really good for them as well. Willa likes to pretend that she doesn't like anybody. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can catch it. Oh, I missed it. Oh, shoot. Sophie interrupted. Oh, maybe they're gonna do it again. They're grooming each other, like really grooming each other. Somebody's in heat in this situation because Willow's not friendly to anybody. She likes Penny. Well, she likes Penny, but they're just both mean girls hanging out. That was cute though. We saw them grooming each other. Honestly, thank God girls don't go into heat the way that goats do. That goat has not left that, that boy all day. Man, so this is day two. Usually they're in heat for three days. So after tomorrow, oh, everything should be fine. In fact, I'm thinking about... This year we're not doing the trying to get girls because that gives us all boys. Yeah, so this year I'm thinking about, I'm not doing that, Sophie. Good. I'm not doing the doling method. I'm just gonna put the boy with the girls and leave them. So, honey just came and scared all the goats away and then the baby boy started screaming. She's like, I'm, I'm here. I'm here, honey. <laughs> Come and find me. I'll meet you, I'll meet you after dark when all everybody goes to bed, she's thinking. <laughs> Yes, we understand. Hi, honey. What are you doing? She's getting big. She's still growing. I know. Saw so on Facebook, someone said that honey's not a baby. Stop calling her a baby. But I call her a baby because miniature horses don't aren't mature, aren't full grown till they're three, and she's not three yet. So she's still a baby to us. She'll always be our baby. <laughs> Everyone's excited. Yeah, it's seven. It's seven o'clock. Yeah, I know. Honestly, though, I feel like we're at this new stage of life. I felt like this a couple years ago too. It was like I don't know a couple years ago, but I feel like uh, everything's changing again. I feel like Gabby got to that age where she kind of grew up and oh, scared the pig. Gabby got to that age where she kind of grew up and kind of started to do a lot of her own thing instead of just hanging around with me all the time which is called growing up and normal and now I feel like Sophie's on the verge of that so then school started I don't know it just feels like we're at this new stage of life where Sam and I are having more and more time just by ourselves and it seems weird like it's hard to figure out a new way when you've only done it for like a short time like 
It's crazy how life just keeps changing. Listen, he's gone to bed now. There will be no action on the day-by-day -day farm. Not for a while. Sorry about your luck. It's time for bed. Everybody's going to bed. She's like, I will not be defeated. But seriously, thumbs up to Sam for finally figuring out how to keep the goat separate. This is the first time ever that they've like really pushed the boundaries and we've been able to keep them separate. Sam, you did so good keeping the goats apart. Like they're actually not getting together now. I know, I know. I decided that I am gonna do it soon though. I think I'll put the Make baby- sure Blossom isn't getting with him soon. Why? Because so, Winston had no babies, except me, as his only baby. So, as so what are you baby. worried about? Huh? Um, she won't have a single baby now. She'll have doubles, she'll have two for sure. So my favorite is February babies. Ollie out. But I decided I was gonna shoot Ollie for May out. babies. No, for March babies. Out. Ollie. <gasps> Is my pig in already? Yes. Oh. Every time I come down here and she's not down here, I freak out. But look at this. Somebody tossed the picnic table again. My guess is that it was you. I'm guessing it was honey. No, I think it was her because she's frustrated. So day one of school is over. It was a mixed up crazy day. First day of school. I swear to God though, the three big girls and boys. She lost your fly mask. She has a gopher. Hi Stormy. What's up? Are you taking out? Do you take your fly mask off at night? Yeah. Whoa. Chill, sister. I f oh, you know why, Penny? Sh yeah. You, Penny, you eat your own food, Missy. Can't be a stealer. Gabby, Gabby's the guard. Gabby, you should stay there because she's gonna keep trying. So, if you go stand by your horse, protect her food. like that everybody is fed. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look how gorgeous. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, there it is. It is gorgeous. It is red sky at night, sailor's delight. That means it's going to be a gorgeous day tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 